Hi there, and thank you for clicking on my video. Um, I'm going to show on this video my personal test uh, that I found super convenient and pretty quick to test if a primary or secondary has multiplicative or additive scaling on the galvanized mods. Now that it's something you have to consider. Um, in order to just isolate as much as possible um, and make the math as straightforward and easy to check as possible. Um, I have a primary deadhead that I just leave at rank 4. Uh, so it gives us 100% damage for 24 seconds. Each stack stacks up to 3x. So when this uh, stacks all the way, it will give us a multiplier of 4. Um, galvanized aptitude is of course max rank. Um, and the reason why we have the arcane at its current rank uh, is because we are running a five status new core that has been modded so that none of the elements uh, debuff the enemy or buff our damage. So there's impact, cold, radiation, and gas. Gas provides a status effect, it's a dot. Radiation is like a confusion where it causes the enemy to attack allies, so it's going to draw aggro, but doesn't provide any damage bonus to from you to the enemy. There's a damage bonus on ally damage, right? Cold damage just slows them down. Well, they're not moving anyway. Um, and impact, they're not moving. Uh, the, technically, it's a like a stutter, right? Um, and then the new core on its own has a status called microwave. And the only thing we're really going to do is try to... I'll do this. Alright, a little better. You just need to balance the elements um, a little better than I did. Gas, radiation, cold, impact, you want all about the same. Um, technically you don't even need this. Uh, Perpetual Agony and Augur Seeker is just to extend the status duration so I have as much time as possible um, to shoot the enemies. Though this test is going to be pretty quick, you're probably not going to need it. So the logic behind this is pretty simple. There's five statuses on the new core. The Galvanized Aptitude mod stacks as well. Plus 40% direct damage per status type uh, stacks up to 2x. So 40 times 2, I hope, is 80. There we go, confirmed. But when you... This then gets multiplied by the number of statuses on the enemy. And with 5 statuses, it gives us 400. So, as you can probably notice, this is a pretty convenient number considering the bonus from Deadhead giving us 300. 300 you get 300% bonus damage from the Arcane, but it's base damage. But then you have to add in a 100% bonus chance, or 100% bonus damage from the weapon itself. Because the weapon already does 100% of its own damage. And then you're adding 300% to it. So it would give us 400%. So 100% plus 300% is 400. So if the weapon had a base damage of 400, with this arcane stacked, it would stack up to 400. If it had a base damage of 100, it would stack up to 400 with this at three stacks. So easy enough. So the only thing we really have to compare is we have to stack up the arcane and then shoot the enemy once to see what our base damage is. And because of the way galvanized aptitude procs, we get one free shot against the enemy before this applies. Because this applies on the second shot so if this weapon even with 60 percent status the weapon is not 
enhancing its own damage. So even if I proc a status, this will not increase the damage. It's on the second shot that it does. So we're, the only thing we're going to end up testing is we're going to shoot a couple of enemies, stack up the Arcane, stack up Galvanized Aptitude. We're going to shoot an enemy with everything stacked to see what our stacked damage is. Okay? And then we're going to prime enemies and then shoot them again and basically test whether it's 400 plus 400 so it would double our damage or if it's 400 plus 400 percent which would be 2000 damage so it's pretty simple your base damage is 100 percent the arcane increases your damage 300 percent to give you four times damage the and what we're going to test is whether galvanized is applying on the base damage because it considers this the direct damage or if it is allowing the arcane and the base damage to combine and count that as direct damage and then the galvanized mod is f increasing the sum of those as a whole okay so the difference would be if the weapon dealt 100 base damage the arcane would boost it by 300% to give us 400 damage. If the galvanized mod is applying additively, we will see 800 damage. But if the galvanized mod is applying multiplicatively, we'll see 2000 damage. But we just need to figure out what the damage on the enemy is so we can start doing math. But it's pretty simple, you stack the arcane, and the galvanized aptitude shoot the enemy once then prime and er, then prime another enemy shoot them and if your damage doubles it's additive if it goes up any higher than that it's multiplicative so if it's double it's straight additive anything else is dealing with a percent or a straight multiplicative. So those are the two simple numbers that we're looking for. Um, let's kill some enemies. Let's get our numbers. Now the enemy that I like to use is the Gyre Raider uh, because the Ferrite Armor at 200, uh, level 1, um, is exactly 40%. So if I have to te like test... And do some math and figure stuff out. It's just one less complicated number to add in. And it just simplifies the equation that much more. So enemy level 1. We're just going to stack it up. Headshots. Headshots. Alright, 758. One ninety four. And I am going to write that down. 194 stacked. All right. We're going to test again. 194. Okay, confirmed. Now we're going to kill that guy. Keep our can and mod stacked. We're going to shoot this guy. We are going to shoot him in armor. 969. Okay, I don't need a crit. Another 969. 712. I had a stack fall off. Okay. Alright, got my stack back. Another 969. 969 looks like the number. And when you're shooting them, when you're testing, make sure you shoot them. Um... Like if they have armor, make sure you shoot them in the in the armor. Because if you shoot them in the leg, it could mess with your numbers. That shit always throws me off. Okay, so with everything stacked, whoops. With everything stacked, the arcane stacked, the galvanized mod stacked. 
and we shoot it for the enemy for the first time, we're not getting the galvanized mod bonus. Because there's no status on the enemy. So we know the, one, the base damage, which is 100%, plus the arcane, which is an additional 300%, is giving us 194. So when we primed, we're just going to figure out straight up by dividing the primed damage, which is nothing but statuses that don't de debuff the enemy, make them weaker, or enhance our own damage aside from the galvanized mod. And we're going to so we're going to take the boosted damage, the boosted damage by galvanized and divide it by the damage that's the arcane and the base damage. So 969 by 194. And it's almost exactly 5. So this is a rounding error. It's due to the quantization of uh, like the damage being done. It's almost exactly 5. So we know that the AOLAC is dealing multiplicative damage with the Galv mod. Um, so that's pretty simple. That's how the test goes. Find an enemy you like. It needs to be weak enough. The only real, like, testing nuance, really, is finding a weapon that you can deal five statuses with um, and not kill it. So you're going to make the primer as weak as possible. Literally as weak as possible. Um, and the enemy that you're shooting needs to be weak enough that... It doesn't. Uh, it can die easily enough when you're trying to stack it because you have no bo bo bonus damage. You have no other mods besides the arcane, and you got to be able to get that first kill. And if it's a headshot kill, you don't want to accidentally kill it with a bleed proc, right? So the enemy needs to be weak enough that you can kill it with an unmodded weapon, but strong enough that you can prime it and not have it die. So like. A butcher is too weak. So that's why I use the Gyre Raiders. It's pretty simple. Um, just if you prime something and you're getting weird numbers, um, like occasionally when I'm using the ALAC, I'll get like a, an 1100 number. It's because I'm hitting a spot on the enemy that's considered like unarmored. Right? So the damage goes up. Um, just shoot them a couple times. If your damage goes down, like when I was hitting for like uh, 727, it, I knew it's because an arcane stack fell off, right? And the... So I was dealing... So normally I was dealing 969 minus 25%, which is one stack. See, 727, because I've tested this weapon a couple times for like different builds. I know 727 means an arcane fell a, a stack from deadhead fell off because it's a 25% reduction. So, simple enough just to go over it again. An enemy low enough that you can kill with an unmodded weapon but won't die to the primer. I like the gyro raiders. You want as few multipliers as possible. Make sure your pet is not up. These guys also got massive heads. As I miss a headshot. So we're stacked up. We're going to prime. 969. And if you want to test, just shoot something that didn't get primered. That was 814. 1124. Get my stack back. 969, 969. Another 969, 969. 194, so that I know that guy's unprimered. 727 again, so I know I lost a stack. Another 969. 
And there you go. So you need to do a little bit of logic on it because the body of the enemy is going to have like armor on it. And this one particularly has spots that aren't armored. Um, so this is a quick method. It's the one I like to use that I got comfortable with. But if you want to use a different enemy, um, deadhead is pretty straightforward. Level it to 100% so you have easy numbers with a primer of five statuses. Uh, galvanized aptitude, if it's additive scaling, will give the same bonus as the base damage on the weapon plus the increase by the deadhead arcane. So you can easily tell if something is additive or multiplicative because it's either does it double or does it go by five times. So this is my personal method. I don't know if there's anything faster, but this is my method. I hope this guy's help this helps. Um, so you can test this stuff yourself. If you find a better method, by all means, leave a comment about it. Anyway, have a good day, guys. Take it easy. Have a blessed day and happy New Year's Eve.